I think when, when I hear, especially older generations, talk about you know, how to protect yourself, mm -hmm. because these are the times we're living in, what that advice, while I understand it, it doesn't get to the root of the issue. It's we have to now brace ourselves for the world that is unfair. We have to change our behavior as opposed to talking about what the issue is. The world shouldn't be like that. What happened? He was able to get through the situation. I'm saying to you, we can't ignore the fact that what we're asking for is unlikely not going to happen. We knew it all along and we still gonna antagonize him anyway. Hell no. Tyreek Hill could have got himself killed. So I originally wasn't going to entertain this uh, because I've already covered on this channel the Tyreek Hill situation, my thoughts on the Tyreek Hill situation, how ESPN covered it, how surprisingly Stephen A. Smith made me proud because he told the unmitigated truth and he held Tyreek Hill accountable. He held the black community accountable and said how we have to behave better, how we have to operate from a higher standard, um, and how Shannon Sharp. Um, actually disappointed me because I actually thought he would do the same, but he chose not to for whatever reason. Um, but there's another clip of Stephen A. Smith and, and First Take interviewing, I believe, Tyreek Hill's teammate and the guy who was present when Tyreek Hill was arrested. Um, and I only do this because, I mean, he was put in, placed in cuffs, but he was immediately let go, which the average person, that wouldn't happen for them, right? But it's another part of the episode where Stephen A. Smith is going back and forth with his coworker. I, I can't, I don't know her name. But this infuriated me because the biggest reason why I chose to go ahead and react to this is because I want you all to see that Stephen A. Smith is choosing to tell the truth. But even in the midst of telling the truth, he's he's you can see that he's peer pressured into like bowing out and like succumbing to like saying other things. Like, bro, just tell the truth. The police behavior, I mean the police officers should have behaved a little bit better, but Tyree Kill should have behaved a whole lot better. If Tyreek Hill would have done what he was supposed to do, none of this would have happened. That's the truth. So without further ado, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for being here. Let's let's see what's going on, man. When you say that they were being, you know, uh, using excessive force, I'd like you to be specific with our audience exactly what you saw that makes you say that. They were trying to yank him down to the ground. And uh, and so like I saw him, you know, kick him and pull him down, you know, and uh, you know, I mean pulling the cuffs. Shoulders look like they're messing up. They kind of got him down. I felt like uh, the one officer was pushing on his head and uh, just was like completely unnecessary. And so, you know, I got out, I had my hands up like this, you know, approaching. And I'm just telling him like, hey, you know, I'm a friend of his. I stood there for about five more minutes, you know, and told him I stand where you want me to stand. Wherever you tell me how far I got back up, I back up, but I'm not leaving the scene. And I think I responded to him like, you know, you can tell my car, I don't feel like I'm blocking traffic. And he's like, that's it, you're under arrest. Puts me in handcuffs and, uh, you know, Tyreek's there, you know, obviously feeling um, distressed. And, you know, John Smith was there as well on the other side in front of in front of him. And I was behind him. And he's like telling John, don't leave me, man, don't leave me. You know, and he's you know talking to me and it's just like, you know, I mean, he's in a strange situation that I don't think he should have been in. It was completely unnecessary. And so, like, you know, we're here for you. We got your back. You know, if they take us to jail, they take us to jail. But we're going to do this together. Tyreek Hill was under distress. Listening to this clip, I lost so many brain cells and I lost so much respect. Like, how can you decide to come on national television when you know your partner did so many things wrong here? How do you come on national television as a grown man, a professional football player, and sound like a baby and such a victim, bro? when y'all was in the wrong, just as much as the police officers, and I would argue even more so than the police officers. People say that it's the police officer's job to de-escalate. I would agree. You know who's, whose job it also is to, to de-escalate things? Your own self. Since y'all wanna only talk about that part, let's talk about all of it, because context is important. Context is important. Your homie was not only speeding, he was speeding through a construction zone. So not only can he hit a civilian, he can hit construction workers. He could kill them going well over 100 miles per hour. The police officers pull him over for good reason. They lightly knock on his window. He immediately has an attitude, don't knock on my window like that. Repeats that like seven times. Arrogance, entitlement, condescending. Thinks he's above, above the law because he he's this rich, famous person. Don't knock on my window like that, which to me signifies that he's been receiving this special treatment from even the law enforcement in Jacksonville for a while, but whatever. They get his license and insurance. He let his windows back up, his very tinted dark windows. And people in the comment section of my last video were saying, 
Well, you have to understand, I can see through his window. He can let his window up. That's not breaking the law. Do you understand until you all become police officers and have more sympathy or be more empathetic on both sides of the aisle, not just for the civilian and understand you, you wouldn't dare muddle those, the other, those crazy words. You let your window up. You are a threat. We don't know if you're getting a gun. And there's many videos across YouTube alone, even with their community guidelines, where you can see that has ended terribly for officers. A lot of them have lost their lives. Trying to be nice, letting the person roll up their super dark tinted windows who already has an attitude with them. You're not going to talk about any of that. He said, you know what? Matter of fact, after repeat, um, repeatedly asking him, wouldn't answer the question, wouldn't let his window back down, wouldn't respond. Said, you know what? Just go ahead and step out the car. They didn't shoot him. They didn't pull out weapons. They didn't pull out tasers. Pull out your, like, like just step out. Didn't do it. You're not going to talk about that? So they finally got his door open. Having to step out. I don't agree with them grabbing him by his neck and his head. I don't agree with that. They were wrong. The police officers were wrong for that. Roll down your windows. Put your hand on the steering wheel. Okay? And don't mouth off. Tyreek Hill could have got himself killed. Mm -hmm. When you roll, when you have that window up, they don't know what's on the other side of that window. You don't know how they would have reacted. So thank God everybody's safe. And no, 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 no not additional harm came to the situation, but I'm very, very happy he acknowledged that he could have handled the situation better. Uh, I do think that it was very mature of Tyreek Hill mm -hmm. to, to um, give those comments yesterday. I think things can always seem clearer with the benefit of hindsight. However, my issue lies with the fact that so many people, unlike Tyreek Hill, didn't have the benefit of hindsight. What, could I, what should I have done differently? Ooh, if I had not done this, because they're not here to tell their story. The issue here is excessive use of force. I understand that, you know, we can talk about the window, we can talk about all these things, but ultimately the reason the body cam video and, and what we saw on Twitter uh, Sunday morning, why it affected so many of us that way is because of, because of how, how physical they were with him, how when he seemed to be compliant, how he was still treated. And so... I think when I, when I hear, especially older generations, talk about, you know, how to protect yourself mm -hmm. because these are the times we're living in. What that advice, while I understand it, it doesn't get to the root of the issue. It's we have to now brace ourselves for the world that is unfair. We have mm -hmm. to change our behavior as opposed to talking about what the issue is. The world shouldn't be like that. What happened? He, he was able to get through the situation. I'm saying to you, we can't ignore the fact that what we're asking for is unlikely not going to happen in a lot of situations. Most, yes, it will. Some, yes, it will. But in a lot more cases than not, what we believe should exist does not. And at the end of the day, I would rather us sit in front of the camera, in front of a microphone, on a podium, post-game, post-practice conference, or everything else, rather than somebody else speaking for us because we're in a coffin six feet under because we put ourselves, because an officer that is not inclined to do what he was trained to do, we knew it all along, and we still going to antagonize him anyway. Hell no. Hell no. Stephen A., everything you said especially the incidents, the incidents that happened to you personally and your friends. That's sort of my point. I understand the world. We, I'm a black woman in America. I understand life is unfair and life is difficult and there are different challenges that affect me in a way that they don't affect you and Jason and Molly. Like, those are realities. That doesn't make it right, though. And I think when you talk about Tyreek Hill, I wish he had, he had said, you know, I should have acted differently sooner. Him saying that yesterday, I think it was mature, that doesn't change the, my stance on, on supporting what he is saying about how he was treated with the excessive force. As a matter of fact, we were on the air with Dominique, and what? Dominique was saying this conversation should be private, and that's the only thing, that's the only way we parted ways. He thought it should be private, yeah. and I said, hell no. We got because, and then Molly jumped in because you got lives that you're trying to save. Right. Yeah. I right. understand it. I'm like, yo, both that's things, the priority. Both things are true. Yes. Right? Yes. Both yeah. things are true. Absolutely. Um, we have to leave it there. By the way, the officer that he wants fired, Danny Torres, was placed on uh, administrative duties, so we'll keep you up to speed as on well what happened As well he should have been. 
if you listen to what she said, it's just a, a few contradictions here. She said, I think it takes maturity for Tyreek Hill to come out and say what he said. Why would it take maturity for him to say that? Huh? Answer that question. If he was mistreated and if he was in the wrong, why would it take maturity to come out and say something that wasn't true? It's because he, he behaved incorrectly. It's because he was childish. It's because he was disrespectful. It was because he was uncooperative. That's why I took maturity. She goes, it takes maturity for him to say that, but I, it still doesn't make me change my mind about how what he said about how he was treated. What? What, what does that even mean? You, you, you're just babbling. He should not have behaved that way. Simple way to, 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 to prove all of this or disprove everything that she said. If he was simply pulled over, complied, cooperated, officers come up. How you doing today, officers? Hand him his license and registration. They go and give him a ticket, a speeding ticket or not. Go on to the game. It's over with. It's done with. Instead, he has an attitude. He's uncooperative, letting his windows. Most people wouldn't even do that. You let your windows down because you understand this is a two-way thing. He chose not to do that operating from emotions this is what I'm, I'm saying like you could tell the entire time Stephen A. Smith was talking she was bubbling she was irritated she was annoyed but this is why we need people in our community and by our I mean the black community who thinks with logic and not just thinks with emotions why do we why do things why why do things have to be the way that they are and why do we have to adjust our behavior adjust your disrespectful behavior adjust your unlawful behavior that's what we're asking we're not saying don't be black and pulled over. We're saying be respectful. Cooperate. What's funny about all of this is if Tyreek Hill wasn't a celebrity, not only would he have went to, jail, went to jail the way that he did, Tyreek Hill would have stayed in jail. If Tyreek Hill was not a celebrity and a, and a famous football player, especially locally, there's a high percentage of a chance when he rolled that window up and wouldn't let it back down, guns would have been drawn. Because they don't know what's going on on the other side. They can start shooting through the window and just shoot the officers. They lose their life. Then what do you say? You come on ESPN and say, oh, it's such a tragic situation. We got to make some adjustments. No, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. These are both human beings, and one was extremely unlawful. Police officers should have behaved a little bit better towards the end. I agree. But Tyreek Hill did way more wrong than the police officers did. Cut it out. Oh, yeah. Diddy got a podcast.